In this video I'm going to show the different cells that I've made and then I'm going to do um, a brief, uh, give you a brief description on each one of how it's made and what it's made of and then I'm also going to be doing um, a test on all of them as well to show the difference in production of hydrogen and oxygen. So uh, this is the first one I, I made uh, when I started my I'm experimenting uh, with uh, electrolysis. This is made up of um, copper pipe. You've got two 12 inch pieces of copper pipe. These are three quarter inch pipe and then running down to the inside are half inch copper pipe with spacers. Um, drilled out so water can get in and out and also uh, any hydrogen oxygen bubbles that are uh, made can also be released through there. This is the first one I made. It didn't produce anything significant. I will not be experimenting this one in the video. I just wanted to show the first one that I started out with. Okay, let me set this one aside. The next one that I made, by the way, these, these are in order of which ones I made. Um, this is an 8 plate stainless steel. These are your standard stainless steel blank wall plate covers. You can buy these at any hardware store. Um, they, they come with a hole here and here. This is how you would normally attach them to the wall. Uh, if, if you have a light switch you're not going to use anymore or a plug outlet or whatever it is. If you have a, a junction box, typically uh, these are actually used more in commercial um, settings but this is stainless steel this is your average wall plate I did drill and tap these holes here so that I could run screws through and then I cut out a hole I, I did this pattern um, here then you know every other one back and forth that way as you go down it's it's every other one is touching this one and then the opposite here every other one opposite of this side are touching this screw here or actually screwed into it you've got Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, so forth. There are no neutral plates in this. Once again, stainless steel, uh, blank, wall plate covers. This was the second cell that I made. Okay. Then I made this cell here. This is a, a cell using wires. This is stainless steel wire. And I used 8 inch acrylic or plexiglass. Uh, you can cut it. If you cut it slow, you can cut it on a table saw. Uh, you can also drill through it. If you drill quickly, you'll crack it. But if you drill slowly, you can drill through it. And what I did is I started at the bottom as you, where you can see the wires are bent there. And then I wound one wire at a time, went around all the way up to the top. Now, the way I did this is I started this wire here, came around, and then I went down one hole, and then this one here started. And if you'll see, they, you have to alternate, you have to skip a hole each time you go down. That way you've got a positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, and so forth all the way down. This was the third app, the, th the third cell that I made. Works quite well. I believe this is the HHO, HHO, two video that I made it was with this cell here I will give you information on that stainless steel wire this is one pound of 302 304 stainless steel uh, wire I bought this at Harbor Freight um, if you do not have a local Harbor Freight you can go to harborfreight.com this is one pound of stainless steel lock wire this was only five dollars so pretty cheap Anyways, there's some information on that. The next cell that I made was similar to the to this one here, but as you can see, there's a difference. It, it, there is it is a little bit bigger, and there's a reason for that. As you can see, the wires are twisted together, and because I twisted the wires together, that made them a little more. Uh, stiff it was harder to bend them and so instead of drilling holes like in this one I drilled holes 
about every three eighths of an inch there with the eighth inch bit. Here I had to notch it because I could not put those wires to the holes. The wire wouldn't bend for me and I was afraid I was going to break the plastic um, putting too much pressure trying to bend them around. It was actually a little easier. All I had to do is wrap it around and just make sure each wire went into its slot as it went around. So this is the fourth cell that I made. Now the fifth cell that I made actually goes back to the plate system. Once again, your stainless steel blank cover plates. And what I did on the 25 plate is I added neutrals. And I notched it differently. I notched it down like this. This pattern rotates. So you've got a positive plate. There's a neutral in between. Then this is a negative right here. So positive negative or negative positive. It depends on which way you hook it up. But let me show you the top view so you can see the, the neutrals. Now, as you can see, there's an extra plate between each of these. Those are neutrals. Now the neutrals I notched here and here. So they're only connected here in the middle. Now they have spacers between them. And then I just use a zip tie. Now the zip tie is actually connecting all of them. Do this on the top and the bottom. You have to use something that does not conduct electricity, otherwise you're positive negative touching. Uh, I made this 25 set plate seal cell. Um, the reason I threw the neutrals in is because you can produce more hydrogen uh, using less power. The neutral plates do, um, once you start, once you give it power, the neutral plates do start to uh, produce hydrogen as well. And there are other people who have made videos and shown that. So this is my 25 plate cell. And then I had an idea and I went off and I bought some aluminum screen. This is your basic screen that you would buy to uh, replace screen on a window or uh, an older screen door or, or whatever. Um, this is just screen. Um, and once again, all these other products here are stainless steel whereas this is aluminum. Uh, what I did here is I, I cut these strips and I also bought some screen, you can't quite see them in there but I also bought some screen that was um, oh, what was it, the, the nylon and so it doesn't conduct any electricity and I, I just I rolled the nylon in between the two so you got a pretty tight roll there you got positive negative, positive negative, alternating all the way out you could, um, one screw is touching one screen and the other is touching the other screen. There's my positive and negative. Uh, the theory behind this, at least my idea was, because it's a screen, water should be able to penetrate all the way through, both through top and bottom and sides. Um, and also the hydrogen oxygen bubbles should find way to get out all over the place. And so, that was my idea when I put this cell together. The last cell that I made, and it doesn't mean this was made recently, but when I made um, the last uh, cell I made that was different, this is aluminum. And what I did is I cut some uh, two, three inch strips of aluminum. And I used this uh, drywall tape. That's what, This is that sticky drywall tape you can buy at any hardware store. I'll show you. It comes in a roll like this. Um, it's sticky, you pull it off and you stick it to the wall and you use it for whatever, drywall patch or you can use it for other things too. Um, because it's similar to the screen, water and air and whatever can go through it, I figured it would be a great spacer. Um, so I wrapped these pieces of metal with that in between to allow water to go through between them. I wanted these to be as close as possible but yet I wanted there to uh, be able to have water and, and hydrogen to be able to get through. And so when I wound these two together, I offset the strips. So basically, the positive and the negative are, are only overlapping in the middle here between my fingers. Um, this strip is here and the other strip is here. This allows me to hook up positive without touching the other metal and, and the negative without touching the positive end and we'll see how this one produces as well. So I'm going to get set up. Um, I do have a gallon uh, 
water jug here is glass so we can look at the production. I'm going to set up the camcorder here on a tripod so it holds still and we'll experiment with the production on each one.